I'm Max from Fine Audio in Scotland. I'm so pleased to be here. I'm an Englishman in Texas, and I'm proud to be with our new partners, uh, Sound Organization in, uh, in Dallas. I'd like to quickly introduce, if I may, Fine Audio's F300 uh, series loudspeakers with the little F300 bookshelf uh, that's available. So the range comprises of uh, this guy here, uh, the baby in the range, the, the beautiful F300 product. Then it goes to the next bookshelf, the 301, then on to the 302, which is the five-star award-winning uh, product with what Hi-Fi. It's amazing. And then the top of the range, the 303. Of course, we have a center channel as well and uh, LCR uh, products. So you could use five LCRs and one of Fine Audio's subwoofers you know, for that home theater requirement. Mm. It's, a, it's a superior vinyl finish. So it's a very high quality uh, available in the light oak finish. You can see uh, walnut and also black ash. It's a two way system with uh, a rear port and uh, the range is made up of, of the two bookshelf speakers, two tower speakers, a center channel, an LCR option, which obviously you can, you know, you can use with a fine audio subwoofer for that, you know, for the home home theater option too. So if we remove the, the grill, which is held on by the invisible magnets, you can actually see uh, our own designed uh, fine audio drive unit, which is a multi-fiber cone, and it actually features the company's fine flute technology, which is a, it's a pretty pattern, but what it actually does, it helps terminate cone energy. The cone energy actually radiates out across the cone, so it's important to, uh, to, to minimize or cancel as much of that as possible. So it's not, just, it's not just a pretty feature, it actually serves a purpose as well. So it's a super strong product. It's very well internally braced, and we actually use the base unit as part of the the cabinet structure to make it uh, to make it even stronger. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we have the superior vinyl finish. We have the magnetic grill as well, which keeps the uh, the front of the speaker, the baffle as we call it, much neater. You can see the Allen bolts holding the uh, the multi fiber cone. Okay guys, so turning around to the rear of the F300 monitor, you can see we have the gold binding post for your loudspeaker cables. We have the bass reflex port, which comes out the, the rear in this instance. And uh, most importantly, we also have the, the hanging point as well. So you can get these on the wall if you want to use these as part of your you know, home theater 5.1, 7.1 system. Maybe you want to use one of the LCR products instead, but many people actually choose to use these little guys within their you know within their home home theater uh, situations as well so we spoke about fine audio's f300 range but for people that want to move up a little way we've we've, we've got the f500 series next uh, with a, a bookshelf speaker uh, a 501 product which is this one and a slightly bigger 502 uh, floor stander so this is one of my own personal favorites the the 501 it's a great product, uh, what high five, five star award winner, loudspeaker of the year winner as well. So it, it's uh, it's absolutely fantastic. It's uh, an oak cabinet. Uh, you can either have, have it in, in dark oak or black oak. You can even get some piano finishes as well. It's not a square box. You probably can't see it from that angle, but it's actually a curved cabinet, which makes the whole structure, it's like an egg. It's actually really strong, and it's, it's, a, much, it's a much more solid platform to, to mount the drive units. And, you know, and what drive units we have, we've got Fine Audio's Isoflare drive unit featuring the fine fluting uh, around the cone edge that we mentioned earlier. This is a point source drive unit, so it's a little bit like my voice in that the energy is coming from my from my voice box. It's all coming from one point, hence point source. It actually allows very sharp pinpoint imaging, even off axis, the, the, there are advantages to it. So if we remove the grill, which is held on again by invisible magnets, where do you put the grill? Well, we had the bright idea of putting some invisible magnets on the rear as well. So when you're having a, a real important listening session, you can take the grill off. But if you're just playing a little bit of background music, it doesn't really matter. One of the other key features that separates uh, Fine Audio is the use of the bass tracks diffuser in the, uh, in, in the plinth at the bottom of the loudspeaker. This technology comes down from our flagship F1 product. And uh, 
the Tractrix diffuser is, is almost like a mountain, it's like a peak. So the energy comes down, hits the top of the diffuser, and it turns that single or plane wave energy into 360 degrees. So a little bit like if you throw a pebble into a lake or into a lock, uh, lock fine, you get the rings radiating out from that central point. So what, what this actually means is you can get the loudspeaker a lot closer to the wall uh, with that controlled tighter base. The Tractrix diffuser eliminates the boundary effect, we call it. So it's a very good thing to have and it makes that speaker positioning so much easier for everyone. So as a musician, uh, using the bass tracks diffuser, which is a, a step up from the F300 uh, series, it allows us much more tight control of the bass frequencies. This is really important to me as a musician, to be able to hear the separation from the bass or the, the kick drum, the bass guitar. It's, uh, it's what this speaker is all about, delivering that attention to detail. Okay, so the F500 series is made up of a bookshelf speaker, the F500, moving on to the 501 model we have here, and then the 502, which is slightly larger again. As well, of course, we have a center channel speaker for that home theater uh, situation, utilizing fine audios, isoflare technology. So all these features separate fine audio from our competitors. For more information about fine audio in the US, please contact the Sound Organization.